Hey guys, it's Ma and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what is in my backpack. So if you guys watched my What's in My Backpack last year, I had that Victoria's Secret pink backpack. Um, the black one with like a bunch of pockets but when I started using that for like my first semester it just got like very heavy because it had so many pockets and I didn't even have that many books in it I'd have like two notebooks on my laptop and it'd just be so heavy because the backpack itself without anything was like very heavy so towards like my second semester I ended up getting another backpack and it was this one so I'm just gonna be reusing the same backpack that I was using for the past semester um, I got this backpack off of Amazon it's just from the company Herschel and it's a black backpack with two pockets it just has a big pocket and then this small one right here so if you guys want this backpack i'll leave it in the description below like the link where i got it from i don't know if it's going to be the same exact like price i got it for because i'm not i forget how much i got it for but i'll try to find it online and i'll link it down below but for today's video i'm just going to be showing you guys what's in this backpack but after i show you what's in my backpack i'll show you guys how to organize it and towards the end of the video i have an app for you guys that makes studying more fun and you get to like meet new people People and everything so stay tuned for that so let's just get on with what's in my backpack oh also guys I got balayage done in my hair that's why my hair is like a different color and it looks lighter than it was it definitely looks better when my hair is curled but um, I had my hair straightened from yesterday so I just re-straightened it and kept it down maybe in another video I'll show you guys how I curl my hair because I use a straightener to curl my hair so I'm thinking about doing like a get ready with me for my first day of school and I'm planning to curl my hair on my first day of school so I'll probably show you guys in that video how I curl my hair with a straightener. But let's just get on with what's in the backpack. Um, I'm going to start with this little pocket right here. So in here I usually keep my calculator but my calculator I don't know where it is. I have to find it. It's somewhere in my room but once I do find it it'll be in this like small pocket. So besides my calculator another thing I keep in this pocket is is this emergency kit so you can literally get this anywhere I think you can get it on Amazon you can get it at Sephora um, I think I got mine from Sephora it was like $18 they have like all different like colors and patterns and stuff so basically this company called pinch came out with this emergency kit and it just has like everything you need in it um, I also showed you my last video I think but in here there's like um, like double-sided tape, there's deodorant stain remover, there's like clear nail polish, nail polish remover, there's hairspray, breath mints, there's like a little sewing kit. It's like literally everything. See like look, this is the breath mints. Um, they also have like a little chapstick in here like that. So basically how this emergency kit works is you like get all of this for $18 and then whatever you run out with you can go online and just order that one thing and just restock it in here or you can just buy a whole other like new thing um but yeah so this comes in handy a lot for me because I always I'm like the mom like I'm with the mom of like all of my friends I always have everything my my cousins always tell me that I'm like a mom because I have everything in my like backpack or my purse or anything but yeah this literally comes in handy so much because it has like stain remover if you get something on like your white shirt it has um like band-aids if you get hurt like a paper cut or something if you start bleeding it's just it comes in clutch so another thing in this little pocket that I have is my lotion guys I went to Bath and Body Works the other day, and this is my favorite scent, okay, Tahiti Island Dream. It is, it just, it's just so nice. It's like summery, coconutty. I just, I love this smell, and they discontinued it. They discontinued my favorite, and I'm so mad because I love this so much, and they don't have it anymore. So I'm going to be using this very cautiously because... I'm probably never going to be able to get it again unless Amazon has it. I'm going to check on Amazon. But this smells so good. If you guys can get your hands on anything with the scent Tahiti Island Dream, go do it. And I mean it. Go do it. So the next thing I have in this little pocket is just my chapstick. Um, I just got a pack of this from Costco. This is so disgusting, but look at that. It's like brown because of my lipstick. Um... But these are just the EOS chapsticks. I think these are new because EOS usually is like an egg. But they came out with these like little chapsticks. And I really, this is my favorite flavor. It's like the pomegranate one. It's so good. But I got this for like a pack at Costco. I think they were like $10 for like six of them or something like that. I'm not really sure. But chapstick, always an essential. Um, 
Also, in my backpack, I'm just going to tell you guys now, I don't have a lot of stuff in here because how college works is you go the first week of school and all your classes hand out a syllabus and the syllabus usually has the like supplies you need for that class. So if you guys want, I'll do an updated what's in my bag later on when the school semester like starts and I'll show you what else I keep in here because I would usually have like more stuff in here like sticky notes and stuff, but I haven't got that yet because I don't really know how my classes work and like how I'm going to study for them. So the next thing in this little pocket are these mechanical pencils um so these are not my favorite mechanical pencils these are just like pencils that I'll like do if someone needs to borrow a pencil I'll give them like one of these but um, my favorite mechanical pencils are the paper mate ones the ones where the eraser like scrolls up and you could just like click it to click it on the bottom to get like the lead out um but yeah those are my like all-time favorite mechanical pencils a lot of people think those are really expensive and they kind of are I think at Target they're like two for eight dollars which is like insane but I usually get them off of Amazon I have to order them for school but on Amazon they're usually like four for six or like four for eight or something like that I'm not really sure I'll leave that in the description below too but uh yeah so these will just have to do for now until I get my new mechanical pencils from Amazon yeah, so now let's get into the big pocket so the first thing in the big pocket right here is my planner so I'm going to show you guys how I organize my planner later on in the video but I just ordered this planner off of Amazon it's just this marble print planner and it also comes with this bookmark that says today which I love because I hate like putting a little clip in there and then it gets like bulky or like having to flip through all of the pages in order to find like what day it is so I love that it comes with this little bookmark but inside the planner it just looks like this so it has months like this and then you can it also has like the individual days where you can write it like that so the last couple of things I have in my backpack are just notebooks and folders. I'm telling you guys, my backpack's really boring because you don't really truly know what you need for college until you go the first day and the professors tell you like what you need and everything. So the last couple of things in my backpack are these notebooks and folders. So I have a red folder, a black folder, a blue one, and a green one. Pretty basic. Like, I like to keep everything color coordinated, so for like my entrepreneurship class, I have a red folder which goes with like the red notebook, and then I have a black folder which goes with my black notebook, and then the blue goes with the blue, and the green goes with the green. So my camera stopped filming and I don't know where it stopped filming, but I'm just going to move on to the organization part of the video. And basically, um, as you guys saw, all my folders and notebooks are like color coordinated. So I basically have a color for each subject. So for example, I'm taking four classes this semester, so each class has its own color. So like my entrepreneurship class, I made red. So I have a red notebook and a red folder for that class. And then for my math class, I don't know why, but math is always just blue in my head. So I have a blue folder and a blue notebook. And then I'm taking intro to macro. So my macro stuff is green. I just thought like, you know, macro, economy, business, money, so green. <laughs> um, but I have a green notebook and a green folder. And then the last class I'm taking is psych. So I have a black folder and a black notebook. So I organize that color coordinated and I also color coordinate it with how I like write everything. So for example, in my planner, um, in my planner, everything is also color coordinated. So I just wrote down a little example for you guys on how I would like color coordinate it. I also love this planner. I got it off of Amazon. I'll leave the link down in the description because it came with this little bookmark and it said like today and I love that because I always have to like look for the day or like fold the page down or put a little clip in the page that in the page that you're writing on and that's just annoying to like look through the whole thing and find the day that you're on. Um, and I just love that it has a little bookmark that says today. But basically I color coordinate my planner as well. So each subject has its own color. It's the same colors as the notebooks and folders. So for example like my macro class is green so you can see it says exam 
it says exam next week for macro and then for like calc it says homework due in blue and then the black one is psych it just says like write psych paper and then the red is for entrepreneurship and it just says like do workshop my school didn't start yet so this isn't actually like legit but I just wrote down examples of stuff that I would probably like write down. So that's basically just how I organize everything and that's why I love using like colorful pens. I just... I don't know it helps me stay organized and it helps me like I don't know when I see colors I remember it so I remember to do that stuff so I just feel like everything's just you know so now for the part of the video that I am so excited about so a couple of months ago one of my friends reached out to me and told me that she's working with this app that basically helps people find other people like friends and like people to talk to with the same interest as them and I just thought that's like a great thing for school. When you're in college, it's kind of easier to make friends with the same interest as you, like the same major or play the same sport as you. And usually in college, that's who you tend to be with the most because um, you like to study with those people for exams or you like to um, just like hang out and talk to those people and ask them for advice about like your major and everything. So I just thought this app was a fun way to find new people. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how it works and everything. I'm going to like do a little screen recording. I'll actually do it... Should I do it on this side? Yeah, so I'll do a little screen recording on this side. So I'm just gonna like move over. So the app's name is Down to Dash. So if you just go on the app store and search down Down to Dash. Okay, so the app looks like this. Um, it's that, it's the one on the bottom left hand corner. It's called Down to Dash. So basically when you click the app, it'll ask you to create an account. I already created one. So it'll just ask you like basic information like your name, um, your age, your interests so you like write down oh like you like music you like soccer you like basketball um you your business major like you write down whatever you want to write down and it also asks you for what school you go to um so i basically just did that before because it's just like personal information so after you do that it asks you this so it asks you down to what are you down to do this week you can write down whatever you want for this it, you can change it later you can delete it later it doesn't really matter um but i'm just gonna write down what are you down to this week so i'm down to listen to music and then you write down the date that you would like to like listen to music. This is just an example. You can write down anything. You can write down like I'm down to study. I'm down to read a book. I'm down to play soccer. I'm down to like play basketball. It doesn't matter. But I'm just going to write a date. So I'm, I'll just do August 24th. Let's just say August 24th. So I'll do that. And then location is optional. I'm not going to put a location down. But you can put a location down for wherever you guys are. Then you just click the little check. So after you do that, you come to this page right here, and this page is just a page full of people with the same interest as you and people that are down to do the same things as you or in the area like near you. So like this person's down to lead a meditation class, or this person's down to write, run a 5k, down to do yoga, down for a jam session, down for networking. So like you basically have all of these people that you can talk to if you have the same interests as them. And I just think that's like great, especially for school because I feel like it's so much better to study with someone else because you just get like different ideas and like different ways to study and it's just like it's just fun to study with someone else other things like on here on the bottom so if you click the little person on the bottom that is just your profile it basically tells you um what you put down before when you created your account so your interests then that little activity is what i wrote down like what I, before like the down to listen to music you can always click on that and you can delete it or you can make a new group chat with people with the same interest as you so I think that's like cool too that you can it's just not like one person you can have like a whole group of people that have the same interest as you so basically this this D in the middle is kind of is like this discover page so it's kind of like tinder but for school um, it's like you can swipe left or right so a person will come up it'll show you their interests and everything and then I'm just not gonna swipe because I don't want to like light out every, anyone's information but you can swipe left or right and it'll basically show you the person's interest and if you're interested in that too, then you can swipe right. And if you're not, you can just swipe left and it'll give you like a new person. Then if you look on the bottom again, that little chat, that's basically your 
plans and your chats. So the plans you make, so for example, I put that activity, I want to listen to music on the 24th. So that comes up right here and anyone who joins it, it'll come up on here as well. And then the chats are just like people you are chatting with. And then this right here is just events. And I'm not going to go on that because it shows my location, but the events, like that little calendar, it basically shows you um, different events near you with your interests. So for example, if there's like a music festival in my town, because I put down music as an interest, it's like the little calendar shows me like different music festivals near me. And I just think that's like so great and just like a different way to like meet new people around you, especially if you're dorming at school. I feel like this app will help you so much to meet new people with this same interests as you because when you're dorming it it could be hard to make new friends and I just think that's great so yeah so that's the app it's called down to dash if you guys want to try it I'll leave the link to download it in the description below but you can also just go on the app store and just search down to dash all right guys that's it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed please make sure to give it a big thumbs up also guys if you click that little bell on the bottom it'll notify you every single time I post a new video also leave in the comments below when is your first day of school. I start September 4th, but I know some people already started and that's like crazy. I don't know. I'm kind of excited to go back to school because I just feel like when I'm at school, I just have a routine at summer. I don't even know like the day. Like, I don't know if it's Monday or Tuesday. I don't know the date. I don't know the time. I don't know anything. And I just feel like when school starts, I'm just like back on schedule. So I'm excited to start school. But yeah, so that's it. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Mechanical pencils that I'm gonna. The... I think these are new because EOS usually. <laughs> Wait, guys, don't leave just yet. Please make sure to go subscribe to my channel by clicking my face right over here. And make sure to go watch my latest video by clicking over here. Also, don't forget to follow me on all of my social media, it'll all be in the description below. But yeah. I think that's it. See ya.